This is according to Simon Johnson of the MIT Sloan School of Management, also former chief economist of the IMF. He writes in Project Syndicate, the full effect of the tax increases would not be felt immediately, while the spending cuts would also be phased in. So this slope offers President Obama a real opportunity to restore the yeah. federal government's revenue base. You can guess which side of uh, the political spectrum he falls here. But his point is that semantics matter, especially because of the hysteria that's been whipped up around right. cutting entitlement spending. It's interesting the weighting that you get from people who say it's about taxes and others who say it's about spending. That's right. It goes conversation to conversation on that. What do you have? Well, you know, Paul Krugman couldn't resist the opportunity with Twinkies to inject some of his economic philosophy in his conscience of a liberal blog in the New York Times, very influential economist. Here's what he writes. The Twinkie Manifesto, the 50s, which is actually the Twinkies era, do, do offer lessons that remain relevant. Above all, contrary to today's conservative orthodoxy, you can have prosperity without demeaning workers and coddling the rich. And he goes back and looks at some of the economic policies of the 1950s to show that they were real, really were beneficial, both socially and economically, more toward taxing the wealthier and eliminating some of the inequality.